welcome back to Bookish Taylor. I am Taylor and today I'm here to bring you my May 2018 TBR. This is also going to be my Readathon TBR. If you don't know about Readathon, Readathon is a month-long readathon that happens. I think it's every two months. So this one is in May. The next one will be in August. This is hosted by Amanda from A Court of Books in Love and it is co-hosted by Jessica from Jessica Marie 493 and Chelsea from A Very Bookish Girl. So all of their channels will be linked down below as well as their announcement videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive on in. So challenge number one is to read the group book. Now the ever so kind Amanda from A Court of Books in Love sent me this. Love Life in the List by Casey West is the group book. This is, I think it's one of the more recent Casey West books. I think it came out last year or earlier this year. I don't know. But I've been really excited because I do enjoy Casey West, so this is going to be a nice, fun, quick read. So I'm really excited to get into this, and I'm actually kind of really excited that this won because I was really interested in picking this book up anyway. Challenge number two is to read a host pick. Amanda chose Carval, Jessica chose Long Way Down, and Chelsea chose Eliza and Her Monsters. For now, I'm going to go with Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This is her second novel, and I believe it follows a girl who writes a online comic, and a new transfer student comes, and they strike up a friendship, but as it turns out, that boy that transfers, he is actually a huge fan of the online comic that this girl, Eliza, writes. Really excited because I've heard really good things about this, and I cannot wait to pick it up. Number three is to read a book with a superhero. I am going to go with Wonder Woman Warbringer by Leigh Bardugo. This is one of the few Leigh Bardugo books I actually haven't read. And since she is one of my favorite authors, I feel compelled to read this. I believe this follows Diana in her teenage years. So it's hopefully going to be relatively interesting. This is the first in the, I think it's a DC Icons, like, four-part series. So I'm really excited to read this and to get started. Number four is to read a retelling, and I am going to go with Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. Challenge number five is to read a book with a mental health rep for the Mental Health Awareness Month, and I'm going to go with When We Collided. I'm not sure what the mental health rep in this book is, but when I googled young adult books with mental health rep, this is one of the books that came up, and this is one of the books that I own. I heard a lot of good things about Emery Lord. I haven't actually picked up any of her work before. This is a award winner so it's got to be decent, right? Number six is to read a new release and I'm gonna go with Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Anyway, so I'm really excited to see what the hype about this book is all about and the cover is just completely totally gorgeous. Number seven is to read a book out of your comfort zone and adult novels are really out of my comfort zone but I feel like adult historic fiction is even more out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna pick up The Seven Lives of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have heard nothing but good things about this book, so I cannot wait to read it, and I hear that it is incredible. So, yeah, this is going to be definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited to read it because I've heard nothing, nothing but rave reviews. Number eight is to read a book with your favorite color on the cover, and I'm going to go with Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. Green is my favorite color, so this just fits perfectly. And number nine is to read a book that is part of a series. And I'm going to go with Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. This is books two and three in the All Souls trilogy. I am hoping to get around to finishing this this month. I can complete these two this month. That's another series off my list. Number 10 is to read a book that you have been meaning to pick up. And I'm going to go with The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I have been meaning to pick this up since, uh, I believe it was last summer. I think that at some point... Julie, Chelsea, Amanda, and I were all trying to buddy read this. Julie and Chelsea have finished it. I think Amanda is about 200 pages in. I think I ended up stopping at like chapter 2 or 3 because I was just not feeling it at the time. So I'm hoping by the 20th of May to get halfway so that I can be caught up and Amanda and I can complete this. Number 11 is to pick up a book that you have started but put down and I'm going to go with More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I believe I am, I'm about 66 pages in and I was really enjoying it, but just not really in the mood to pick it up. Oh, so I'm going to hopefully at some point this month pick this up and finish it. Number 12 is to read a main character that is different from you, and I'm going to go with Mad Miss Mimic by Sarah Hinstra. I believe this deals with a 17-year-old 
Mute. Also takes place in London 1872 or just complete different time period for me so I feel like this will fit perfectly and it's a really short book. It's about 250 pages so it's going to be a relatively quick read and yeah I'm really excited to read this. Number 13 is to read a book with a mother-daughter relationship or a gift from a mother figure and I'm going to go with Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. This is a buddy read that actually started yesterday on April 30th and is running until I think May 4th or 5th um, but this follows a young girl who is traveling to the city of sin in order to find her mother so she is trying to find clues in order to find her mom and just kind of unravel this secret world that her mother's been a part of uh, I am currently 28 pages in and not like not hating it it just started so it's relatively you know like world building still and but so far I'm intrigued and then finally the last challenge is to read a manga or a graphic novel and I am going to go with with Fruits Basket and this is one of Amanda's favorite manga and anime series I believe as well so I'm really excited that I can finally pick this up and read it and know what she is so excited about. So it is a little supernatural and I am really intrigued because I cannot wait for manga thon. It's going to be so cool. And then challenge number 15 is to read six books or complete three challenges. So I ended up having 14 books. So April's been kind of a slow month for me, but I am hoping to get back into the swing of things and to read a lot. I'm going to be utilizing audiobooks as well. But yeah, those are the 14 books I am going to be reading or hopefully reading for this round of Readathon. If you are participating, what book are you most excited to read for Readathon? I think I am most excited to read, definitely most excited to read Fruits Baskets. I'm also really excited to finish the All Souls trilogy and to definitely to see what the hype about Evelyn Hugo is about. And I'm also really, really, really excited to get to Starry Eyes. So I think those would be my favorites and the ones that I'm most looking forward to. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye!